China's National Congress concluded with no major economic policy changes. While President Xi Jinping has placed more emphasis on national security, he reiterated that economic development remains important. However, he did not provide clarity on when China's zero-COVID policies will be relaxed. Markets fell sharply after the meeting concluded, stemming from concerns about economic growth and how market-friendly the new leadership would be. Key developments to watch moving forward include President Xi's common prosperity and dual circulation policies. The common prosperity model, aimed at narrowing China's wealth gap, has resulted in regulatory crackdowns on big tech and property companies. Meanwhile, dual circulation model of economic growth focuses on boosting domestic demand and driving exports. However, this strategy faces challenges from China's zero COVID strategy and the weakening global economy. In the absence of fresh policy changes, the zero COVID policy stance and weaker macroeconomic backdrops are likely to weigh on Chinese stocks in the near term. However, we maintain our cautiously optimistic view on Chinese equities and advise investors to stay defensive for now. Over a multi-year horizon, we continue to favour the China market on the back of its long-term goals. Those who are invested should adopt a long-term approach by staying in the market. Investors looking to gain exposure to China can consider buying on dips and investing in tranches given the market's current attractive valuations, but you should be aware of potential short-term volatility. To learn more about how to position your investments in this volatile market, speak to a UOB advisor today.